The levy is gone and there's no one here to help you now. Hi, I'm John McCann from Survival Resources. I thought I would do a quick video today on something I've been thinking about and experimenting with. Out in the country, most of us, when we want to collect rainwater, we use rain barrels. We set them up under the gutters, and the gutters collect, bring the water down, and they fill our buckets for us. We can use these for our gardening purposes, and in an emergency situation, we could actually use these to purify the water and use it for drinking water. But I've talked to some other people who live in apartments or condo complexes, and they indicate that they're not allowed, because of leasing reasons or regulations, to tap into the downspouts on their building. For that reason, there's there's no way for them to be able to accumulate the water into buckets or barrels or something like that. So I got to thinking about it and I thought if you could put up some type of a system whereby when it started to rain you could run out and quickly set something up. And I think a lot about when I do a lot of camping up in the Adirondack Park and I always set up a tarp when it rains in order to collect water and I use that to funnel the water towards pots or towards drinking bottles or whatever. So what I thought I would do is try to come up with some type of a system where you could set some poles up permanently in your yard or semi-permanently and when it starts to rain you run out and you throw up a tarp real quick, you collect the water, then you take the tarp down. Now you have water for your garden, if you have gardening around your, your apartment or your, your condo, and in an emergency situation, you have yourself drinking water, which you could purify. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, I'm out in the yard here, and this is what I've done. I've set up four T-posts. These are called T-posts are used for gardening. They have a little T on the bottom, so when you put them in the ground, they don't move. They also have tabs on them, and I'll show you a close-up of these. And these tabs stick out and face up all the way down until you get down to here. And then the tabs come out and face down. And there's, I'll explain the reasoning for this, for our use in this. I've set up two here. I've set up two back here. Now the idea is the back ones you want to set up the width of the tarp. What I'm going to use is an eight by 10 tarp. Now the idea of this is we're going to be able to stretch the tarp in the back. The front posts I brought in two feet closer than the rear posts. And the reason for that is so the tarp will dip in the center. Now what we're gonna do is also put loops on each corner of the tarp so that we can quickly hang those to these four posts. And then on the front side, there's five grommets. One is gonna be the center grommet, which we're gonna put over a bucket. The other two, we're gonna take pieces of cord and we're gonna run it down and put loops on them so that they can come down and hook to the bottom ones. That will keep the entire tarp very taut. Now I've already put the loops on the tarp and I'm going to go ahead and show you how quickly you can set this up. Now, of course, these cord here, when you first experiment, first set this up, you want to make them the right length in order so that they hold this tarp very taut. Now, I'm going to get the bucket and show you how this sets up. Now, what I've done on the center one here is I've tied a rock. I put the bucket under the tarp and the rock. Now, as you can see, this pulls this down. Right now it's pretty windy out here. You see this is blowing around a little, but it's not blowing around a lot. Go ahead and put that on the right plug there. It will hold this very taut. Now as you can see, when the rain comes, hopefully, and we're going to find out when it rains, the rain is going to be channeled down to this bucket and the water will run into there. Now let me give you some close-up shots. 
Okay, this is a close-up shot of the bucket. As you can see, the bucket, this section of the tarp is directly over the bucket, and the rock holds this taut so that the water will run down into the bucket. This shows you the setup of the easy loops. This shows you the loops on the bottom. They simply just click over that, and then this line pulls the tarp taut. It's as simple as that, people. Now, this is a pretty simple system as far as you can see. You come out here, it starts to rain. It takes about a minute to, to set this up after you've adjusted it the first time around. When it stops raining, all you do is come out and pop, 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 take that tarp down, pull the rock out of the bucket, now you have your bucket of water. Now, if you need more water than five gallons, which is what these are, and that depending on the amount of water, sometimes you may only get five gallons. We're going to find out here. Sometimes you may get more, so you may want to stand ready with more buckets in order to fill them up. Or if you're really going to have a torrential downpour for a determined amount of time say longer than just to fill a bucket then what you could do is set up an overflow pipe to other buckets to whereby you could fill more than once uh, if you're near a garden you could always set up some type of a gutter system from this an old piece of gutter and channel the water towards your garden there's a, a lot of different things you can do but i thought this was a a different idea of how to do water, really not different. Uh, most campers have been using it for years, but for someone in an urban or a city environment that has a very small uh, piece of property, this may be just the thing for you. Okay, as you can see, we rushed out here. It was pouring like a bandit for about three or four minutes. We got the gear, it's been set up, ready to go for three days here. We donned our equipment and ran out. As you can see, the water is, was running down here. We've got almost half a bucket. What I'm gonna wait here is we got a lot of thunder and lightning coming. It looks like the rain is gonna come back. So we're gonna stand by right here. I feel more rain right now. I'm hoping we get a little bit more. I'd like to be able to fill this bucket. It shows though we got a, about a half a bucket in about four, four minutes. So uh, th that is with a heavy rain. Now, if you have a, just a drizzle, it's, it's going to take a lot longer, but what you're really looking for is a good downpour. I'm going to have to edit some of this. I don't want you people sitting here waiting for me, uh, watching me get soaked. But it is starting to rain right now, pretty heavy again. It's, I wouldn't call it a downpour, but I'm getting wet. Okay, you can hear it is now raining. It's it's not a torrential downpour, but it is raining. You can probably hear the, the thunder and everything. Uh, as I said, this has been sitting out here about four minutes. As you can see, this is not a downpour. It is just, I'd call it um, medium rain right now. But you can see the water is running right down the center of this as it is intended to be and is running right into the bucket here. As I said before, I will keep filming and I will edit out those parts that I feel you will be truly bored with. So, uh, there's lightning, so that was a good one. We're getting close now. The rain's starting to get a little heavier. I'm starting to get a little wetter. As you can see now, water is literally running down the sides of this thing, running down this way. In an absolute torrential downpour, it would really be running, but it's running pretty good right now. Um, we're getting a pretty steady run here. Hopefully it will rain very heavy here in a moment. I'm not going anywhere. What I would do is edit out what I need to here for you. I'd like to thank my wife Denise who is standing out here holding the umbrella over the camera so that the camera doesn't get wet. Me being a marine I don't melt so uh, I'm not too concerned with it but uh, I gotta protect the uh, technology as they say. This thing's working pretty good right now. The water's really coming down this thing. I don't know how close you can see this. I could zoom in on this, but then you're not going to do it. There we go. That's a good one. Yeah, 
Yep, we're still getting rain. I'm getting soaked, so we're getting some good rain. As you can see, this water right now is really pouring into this bucket here. It won't take long to uh, fill this thing, uh, depending how long the rain lasts. But it would appear, in my mind, the experiment is a success anyway. We're not doing anything. The wind isn't blowing this thing anywhere. It's taut. It's staying in position. And it's channeling all the water down the tarp into the bucket. And the, bucket, the water's running in here very good right now. So, at this point, I'm going to stand by just to see if we can get a full bucket of water here. And, uh, oh, the rain's coming down now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what we needed for the video right here. Like I say, I've been waiting three days and we got it. This is what we need. We got about a little over two thirds of the bucket. Okay, the water's running now. Look, it's watch the water now. The, the rain is definitely coming down right now. And you can see this water is pouring into this bucket. You can already see the water level on the camera. I don't think it's going to take long, people, for this to fill up. It'll take me a little longer to dry out, but, uh, well, this is what we needed. Look at the water running there. Back to my experiment. As you can see, you throw up a tarp like this, you see rain coming, you run out and you set it up. We already proved we can set this thing up in about a minute. Okay, you can be out here, you may get a little bit wet, but hey, this, this is all about gathering water, A, for the garden, for later. Now today we're not going to have to water the garden, but tomorrow, when it's sunny all day and everything dries out, we're going to have water. We also have water that we can filter and turn into potable water potable water in an emergency situation is, is, as we know, very important. The water now is unbelievably running here. I'm going to run and get another bucket out here. Okay. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, this water is running into here like crazy. We have one bucket filled already. It's been raining like this. As long as I've been on here, it's got to be three, four minutes, now, five minutes. This is starting to fill this bucket already. This is the type of rain you need. A good four, five, six minute downpour like this is what you really need to get this bucket full. Stand by here and see how long it takes to fill this bucket. Okay, we've got almost almost half a bucket. Pull that camera back just a little bit. Let me see how the water is in this. Okay, good. See this entire part is holding real well here. The water's definitely coming down. What I'm going to have to do is stop here because I don't happen to have another bucket handy. And this bucket is just about full. As soon as it's full, I'm going to cut this. I think the experiment worked. We filled two five-gallon buckets in a matter of six or seven minutes with a good heavy rain. It's definitely coming down. It's definitely coming down. And it's, I have filled two five-gallon buckets with water. Got a little wet doing it. 
but this proves the experiment. This is a, a feasible way for you to obtain water. I'd like to thank you all for your support. I'd like to thank you all for supporting Survival Resources. Please check out our website at survivalresources.com. Check out our products, our articles, our videos, and we'll see you next time around.